Hey guys, Stephanie here with the Aeroponic Tower Channel and today I wanted to explain all things about a hydroponic tower garden and what an aeroponic tower garden is, how it works, and why do we sometimes call it hydroponics and sometimes call it aeroponics. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna keep this super short and to the point. So aeroponics is a form of hydroponics. They're in the same family. Hydroponics means we're just growing in a soilless medium using water and nutrients. So we're not using soil. So these are grown in water. We don't have any soil components to these. Aeroponics is a form of hydroponics, but it's a little bit different. In hydroponics, the plants are sitting in water full time. That water may be sitting still in like a Kratky system, or it can be moving water, but the roots are in the water full time. In aeroponics, our roots are in the air 80% of the time. What makes that a little bit more beneficial than a traditional hydroponic system there's a few benefits and the main being that as the home gardener hydroponic systems tend to be horizontal and can take up a lot of space and you need lights that go over them and it can be a little bit more complicated when we go to aeroponics this allows us to as the home gardener be able to grow a lot of food in a small space with very very simple technology and with aeroponics aeroponics is a little bit different than hydroponics because aeroponics because the roots are exposed to the air, it makes them incredibly efficient at absorbing nutrients. So I can grow tomatoes and peppers and cabbage and squash and all the things in the same tower using the same mineral blend from Tower Garden. Now I'm not sure about other blends. I only use Tower Gardens. And everything gets everything it needs. They take in when they're exposed to the water and the minerals, they take in everything they need because they are just primed to be super absorbent of all of those things. The rest goes down into the tank and then it repeats on a closed loop cycle so that we're recycling our water, we're recycling our minerals, and we don't have any waste in that system, and the plants get everything they need. Also, with this particular system, we have light options, and I like the light options because you can move them. And I like that because I can also grow bigger things. Like I mentioned before, I'm not limited to a fixed light system where I can only grow certain things that are gonna grow within that light space. This gives me more flexibility. But let me take you closer and show you exactly how it works. So not all aeroponics are the same either. We use a drip system on a tower garden. It's a very, very simple system. There are other systems out there where the water and the nutrients are misted. Those I found to be more complicated. They're not really set up for the home gardener to just dive in and to be able to grow this abundance of food. So I chose tower garden mostly because everything's simple and streamlined. So let's dive in. I'm gonna show you exactly how these towers work. So you can probably hear in the background that it sounds like a fountain, there's water dripping. So we have a basin on these, and in the basin, with the flex system, it's holding 20 gallons of water. With our home system, it's holding 13 gallons of water. And there's a simple pump in there, just like a standard fountain pump, and it's pushing water up a channel, up to the top, and what we call a shower cap. And then there's little holes in the top and the water drips back down. And all of that dripping happens to where the roots are on our plants, whether they're new plants that are just getting started or more mature plants, every plant gets watered through this drip system. And the nutrients are in the water. We add the nutrients to the tank and to our water. And so they get all the water and minerals that they need as it drips down on them. We wanna refill our tank when it gets to about the halfway mark. I often let it get way lower that and that's fine. And then every time you add water, you're adding minerals in the amount of the water. So we have a certain amount of minerals we add per gallon, super simple to follow on the back of the instructions. And you just add that in and you are ready to go again. These are also set on a timer. So if you're growing indoors, you hit the number one or the I for indoors. That is gonna run these for five minutes on, 45 minutes off. If you're growing outdoors, we need to have the roots exposed to more water. So the timer's set for O for outside or zero, and that's gonna run for three minutes on and 12 minutes off so that those roots stay nice and moist when we're growing out in the hot sun. With the tower gardens, everything's included in the kit, so you don't have to go piece any of this together. You just order it. Everything comes with it except for, I recommend a seed starting kit. Um, I also have a membership that comes with towers. When you order them using my link, you get free access to my membership where it's gonna walk you through exactly how to do all of this in my courses and in our Facebook group. So that is an added benefit to using my link when you sign up because I want you to have the greatest success. 
And here you can see it's just a simple fountain pump. We're going to put it in the bottom and it screws into the top of the grow tower. And then you feed the wire out a little hole and put the top back on and you are ready to plug it in and go. As far as building the cage, it's very simple. It comes with instructions, but they just stack right on top of each other and are secured with some rods. To use the lights, that's also a simple process as well. We just set our timer to the time we want the lights to kick on, but the amount of time we want them to kick on by moving these little levers here. And we can tell it when to turn off and it does all the work for us. Slide this little button here over to the right to tell it to use the timer and they're ready to go. Okay. And now speaking specifically to tower garden i'm not familiar with all aeroponic systems these are made out of a really durable material that was found to not break down over time so we don't have to worry about things leaching into our water like we would if we were using cheap plastics we also have the advantage that these are designed where light cannot penetrate through them that is really important because you don't want light and your minerals coming together because you can get algae and different things inside the tank and so we don't have to worry about that with the towers because of how these are made. And then each individual piece, we build them, the stackable cages, so there's not any moving parts. There's not a lot of things that can break on these. If for some reason, I've been growing for three years on many, many towers, and I've never had anything break. But if for some reason something did break, you don't have to buy a whole new system. We just replace the one little part that may have damage to it. And aside from that, it's a very inexpensive pump it's a timer, it's the tower itself. And then we need net pots to go in our tower or clips and the lights if you wanna grow indoors. And that's it, these are simple systems that are designed to give us autonomy with food so we can grow whatever we wanna grow in them. For the most part, we can't grow potatoes and carrots and things, but I can grow an assortment of different things and to save us a lot of money, I don't have to subscribe to some sort of subscription or buy some special pod to go in here. I can buy rock wool in bulk and I can buy my own seeds. I can grow heads of lettuce from anywhere from like 30 cents to 50 cents versus having to pay for some pod that can be over $2. So I really found that to be an important component to this. I wanted to be able to grow food at the lowest cost possible. And I didn't want to have to worry about buying a system that was gonna fall apart and need to be replaced. These will last a lifetime. They have been. I have friends who've been growing in them for over 13 years in the hot Florida sun without any breakdown whatsoever, which is absolutely incredible. So that is how my aeroponic tower gardens work. It is a hydroponic garden tower that allows you to grow just an abundance of food in a really small space. We're growing in three square feet. We're growing over 28 plants. If we have extension kits on these and the, if we're growing in the baby greens extension, we can grow up to 64 plants in just three square feet. And that is incredible. If you're interested in purchasing a tower, make sure to use my link below. I have a membership and all my customers and everyone who uses my link gets access to that. It is an app where you have tons of courses, many courses and information and everything you need to know to be a successful tower gardener, plus a community tab. I also connect that to a live group where we're learning how to not just grow this food with success, but how do we eat it and how do we use it to up level our health and wellness. And that all that magic happens in the private Facebook group that you get access to, live videos that occur in the Facebook group. If you're not on Facebook, those also get uploaded into the app so you have access to those. And there's community in both. So if you've got questions, I'm here to help. Growing your own food is such a powerful way to up level your health save money and really make an impact in this world. So I highly recommend you join the growing club and gain access to the Aeroponic Mastery Institute membership where you can learn to transform your understanding of the power of homegrown nutrition.